Hey you guys, it's Amy Gretchen. Happy New Year. Hope that you guys are starting out the year awesome. I'm hoping to do a lot more face-to-face -face videos with you. That is one of my goals this year when it comes to my word softening that I've, I've chosen to reflect on this year and kind of guide me through 2018. I want to get more vulnerable. And so that's one of my goals to do more face-to-face -face with YouTube because it scares me just a little bit. I'm not going to promise anything, but it's definitely something that I want to do and a goal moving forward. But that is not why I'm here. That's not what I'm here to talk to you about. Uh, the thing that I wanted to talk to you guys about today was my, one of my favorite projects that I've ever participated in, and that is the 12 of 12 project. I love this project, and I really cannot say more about how this project has really helped me to see my life and to have more gratitude. So that is one of the reasons why I jump into a lot of projects. And one of the reasons why I started doing the photo a day years ago is to really just be able to see these everyday moments in my life, things that I do on a, all the time, stuff that people would say are very mundane and to have a lot of gratitude in that. So that was one of the reasons why um, this 12 of 12 project really resonated with me. So I know some of you have heard this, but I'll just tell you how this all came about. So back in 2008, I think I participated, that was the first year I participated in Week in the Life with Ali Edwards, and I loved it. Like I said, I was doing um, a, a photo a day, and I had been doing a photo a day for a little while, like a, like a couple years. And I really love that. Like I said, it just, I love being able to just take these everyday pictures. And in doing that week in the life, I loved, I just love the intensity of taking photos all day long and capturing so much information. But on the flip side, it was intense. And at the end of the week, I was really tired from journaling and, and from getting all those photos taken. But I did love it. Around the same time, Kathy Zilski did a design your life scrapbooking class and I took that. And in there, one of the weeks, she did a layout that was about the 12 of 12 project. And it was taking photos on the 12th of the month. And she had all of these photos in a collage and she did a layout on this project. And I can't remember exactly where she found it. I believe it was from just a blog or, or something she had heard about but I fell in love with it. I thought it was a great thing that would accompany like just taking photos every day. I thought it would go really well with my love for Week in the Life because it would allow me to um, highlight one day every month instead of one week every year. So I thought it was something that I could string along throughout the year and um, just a better way of maybe documenting that year. So I loved the idea of this. I love the thought of being able to get an intense capture of what your day looks like. Now I've had a lot of people tell me like, what are you taking pictures of? My life looks the exact same. And I promise you when you jump into this project, your life will not look the exact same. You start seeing things that you've never seen before. And these mundane things that you're like, I do this all the time. I'm always folding laundry. I'm always, you know, going to work and doing the same route, things change. And if things don't change, and let's say you do end up taking the same picture, I think it's really cool to see that same picture taken over 12 month period. Seasons change, maybe you begin to start changing your route. Stuff changes throughout your life and you begin to see the beauty in it. The beauty in it, and I absolutely love that about this project. That's the reason why I do it is to see my life differently and to have a heart full of gratitude. So that's really how I started on this project of 12 of 12. So I started, I can't remember if I did any in 2008. I can't even remember when she offered a class if it was in the summer or the fall. But starting in January of 2009, I jumped in and I started doing this project. So on the 12th of every month, I take pictures all day long and I've been doing it since 2009 and I have loved being able to go back and look at the collages I've made and just see all the life that we have lived 
I, you guys, I'm telling you, if you've not done this project before, do it one month, do it two months, jump in, totally give it a try. So let me go back and explain a little bit about how you do it. So on the 12th of every month, you take pictures all day. It's really that simple. It's a lot like day in the life. Uh, you're just taking pictures all day long of the stuff you see, of the stuff you encounter. Like I said, some people are like, that's the same stuff. Capture it try and see it a little bit different try and see it the exact same way like i said it might be cool to take the same picture throughout the year and see what it looks like in different seasons or just try and get things from a different angle if you eat the same food at breakfast and you want to document that document it but try and get it from a different angle or let's say like i'm doing dish like i literally do dishes every single day breakfast dishes try and get that from a different angle try and um shoot it a little bit different be creative about the way you see your life and that in that way that is one of the other things that i love about uh, the 12 of 12 project is it really helps you to be more creative about the way you shoot so think about angles and um, your perspective and things like that when you're going throughout your day just to make it a little bit different so once i've taken all of my pictures and i probably take between I probably take around 150, maybe 200 pictures for this project. Sometimes it's more, depending on what's going on. Um, if I'm on vacation, obviously it's a lot more, but sometimes it could be like 350. Just really depends on what's going on that day. Um, I don't think about it. I don't limit myself. I just go with it. Sometimes I have 30 pictures and I'm choosing between 30 pictures and sometimes it's more. So you just need to do what works for you. So at the end of the day, I load up my pictures and I look through them and I choose 12 pictures, yes, only 12. So if I've taken 100 pictures, I only choose 12 pictures that I think best represent my day, that I think best tell the story about my day. And those are the photos that I put into a collage. Now I make a collage that is four pictures across and three photos down. And so that's my 12 photos. You could do it however you want. I've seen people just adding them to their blog um, at one photo at a time and writing a bit of, bit of journaling about them. I like having them in a collage because I like seeing them all together and seeing uh, the story that it creates, but you could do it however you want. Now at the time when I was doing this project, I was just putting them in a collage and putting it on my blog and then writing some journaling on there. But since then, I've started doing a uh, week or I'm sorry since then I've started doing project life so I will add these photos into my project life album into the collage and I wanted to show you two ways that I did that so when I first started doing project life it was in 2013 so I took this I was scrapbooking a lot and I took this big break and I not even really sure why I took a big break but I took this big break and when I kind of came back project life was all the rage in fact you know what i think i bought one of those first project life kits that were it was just supposed to be for daily photos and that's why i bought it because i was taking daily photos and i think i bought it i don't remember 2008 or 9 is that when she first put them out becky higgins uh, but when i came back it was all the rage this project life on a weekly basis and so i decided to jump in and do that instead of the regular planners because i like the idea of documenting everyday life that is what fuels me is this documentation of everyday life because that's what i want to look back on that's what i want to see i would die to see that um, of my my mother and my father like just what their daily life was like i think it really helps put things in perspective and like i said helps you uh, helps you feel gratitude for your life so this is how i started adding my project or how i started adding the 12 of 12 project to my project life so this is a um, becky higgins size or design f and i just cut off the top and cut off the side so that it had six pockets um a three by four pockets and then i did my photos because all of my photo collages i do the photos are square i did these digitally actually in my computer so i added my photo to this journaling right here 
And then, um, then I just printed these out, cut them in half, and then stuck them in the pockets. You could actually just cut out the photos. You could add the journaling right onto the three by four card and then adhere the photo onto there and then just stick it in the pocket. So that's an option as well. But these ones are all digital. So you can see that I have my 12 photos and that I've marked them one through 12 there. So that is how I started doing my 12 12 project in my in my project life album you can see i've got the i don't know you can see that i also have a tab here that says january does that say january no june 2012 so this is from 2013 and then i just stick it in the week where it belongs so if the week was you know the 11th through the 17th i stick it in that week and it just becomes an insert um, I think the next year, I don't know if it was 2014 or 2015, I started just printing off my collage. I really like this. A couple reasons why I decided to change it. I felt like this, creating these just took a lot of time. I didn't need to do that because I already had um, my collage built and my journaling uh, written out on my um, in my blog. So what I decided to do is just to take this um, collage that I already created and just print it out. So this is an eight by 10 size. So I just printed it out. I got some eight by 10 page protectors from Becky Higgins. And then on the back side, I just printed out the journaling that was right on my blog. Um, I created this template so I could use it every single month. It says 12 of 12 here. In other months, I've actually had the letters 12 of 12. I've done things a little bit differently. So I kind of mix it up. I've added embellishments before. This one is just pretty clean and simple. I think this one was from actually January of last year, so 2017. So that's how I'm adding the, the inserts right into my book. Now I've, right into my project life. So I've had a, um, other friends that have done this, like my sister-in-law, she actually prints off her collages and she sticks them on in frames and she puts them in her house. So in her house she has 12 frames and she prints them all out from the previous year. So she has all of, like for instance, she'll have all of 2017 collages in her frames that she'll be able to look at all year long. And then at the end of the year, she'll reprint them and put the new ones in. And I think her goal is then to take the, the collages that she's framed to take them out and to put them in a book so that then she'll have them in a binder that she could go, you know, her family can go back and look through. Um, another friend has taken these collages that she's created throughout the years and she just puts them in a book. So, or she has them printed into a book like, or Artifact Uprising or Blurb, whatever it is that, whatever publisher it is that you use, that is another option as well. So on one side she has the photo and on the other side she has the journaling. That's something that I've actually considered doing as well. But for right now, I just have them in my Project Life album. And the years that I don't have in my Project Life album, I just have on my blog for right now. Like I said, I would like to get it in some kind of a binder or something so that I could just flip through all of them. But for now, that's what I've done. So there's so many things you guys could do. You don't have to, like I said, you don't have to put them in a collage. You could actually do it photo by photo um, and you could create an album with just each photo and journaling. It, it's sky's the limit. The whole point of this project is for you to start seeing your life in a totally different way. And I believe if this is the only project that you do um, for the year, if this is the only thing you do all year is take pictures once a month and have the photos that you took that, that, that day, I don't think you need to do anything more. Now I want to do more, but I don't feel like you need to do more because this, I believe, tells a complete, once you put all of these collages and photos side by side, this tells a complete picture of what your year looked like. Now, uh, back in a few years ago, I lost one of my hard drives. And by lost, I mean I didn't lose the actual hard drive, it died. And so I lost photos from 2011, 2012, and 2013. Literally every photo I'd ever taken, gone, except for the ones that ended up on Instagram or ended up on my blog or ended up on other places. Now, the only thing that I actually have 
from, well, I have little bits and pieces from each year, but the one thing I do have and the one thing that got saved was my 12 of 12 project. And I am so grateful. I do not have the individual photos, but I do have the collages. And so at least I can look back on those years where I lost all those pictures because that was devastating to lose all that stuff. But at least I can look back at those those photos and I have a clear picture of what those years looked like and I am forever grateful that at least I had these saved. So if anything else, if you don't want to do any other project, this is a great project to tackle. And you really can make it as complicated or as easy as you want to be. You could take 12 photos, that's it. Or you could take like me, 100, 150, and you can decide what photos you choose to highlight from that day. It is really whatever you want to make it, just so that you're getting your camera out and taking pictures of your life. That's really what this is all about, and that's really the reason why I do it. The one other thing that I would say about this project that I would encourage you guys to do is get yourself in your collage. So that's one of the things that I try to do at least once a month when I'm doing this project is to take a self portrait, take a picture of myself so that I know that I'm getting some pictures of me and telling my own story. A lot of us um, are have families and are telling our family story. Make sure you're getting pictures of you. And a lot of us don't have families or their kids are older and they've moved on. You, everyone has a story to tell. But uh, I would encourage you to get your self portraits at least once a month and you can do it on the 12 of 12 project and you can put it right in your collage. So anyway, you guys, hopefully that gave you a clear reason why I do it and what this project is all about. Like I said, it is as simple as getting your camera out and taking pictures. You can use whatever you have, whatever tool you have to take pictures, your phone, a larger SLR camera, a film camera, whatever it is you have, just get it out, just start taking pictures, and that's really what this is all about. Don't think of that you you aren't good at taking pictures so that you don't wanna do it. There is no better way to learn how to take pictures than to start taking pictures. You guys, I have been taking pictures intensely since 2005, so I've been taking pictures my whole life. Um, since I was a little girl, I've had like this small little film camera with that 110 film, if you guys remember. It was, this, I don't know, this large cassette. I've, I've been taking pictures and documenting my life for a long time just because I loved it. But it wasn't until 2005 when digital cameras really started coming out that I started learning quicker and quicker and really developed this love for it. And you guys, I've been shooting, that's what, 18... No, that's not 18 years, 13, 12, 13 years I've been shooting every single day. Honestly, every single day I pick up my camera and I take a picture of something. So don't get discouraged. If you're literally just starting taking pictures, don't get discouraged. Start today, start taking pictures. That's the first thing that you need to do. And then you can start reading books and then you can start looking into stuff, but I would just encourage you to get your camera out and start doing it now. Cause then you know where you have questions and then you know where you want to improve. Anyways, I wasn't gonna talk about photography in this, but I just want to encourage you guys to just get out there and do it. So if you are wanting to jump on board and start this project with me, I would love it. It begins on January 12th and we will do it every month and end it on uh, December 12th. And I promise you guys, if you do it, you will love it. Now, what happens if you miss the 12th? Like, well, let's say it's halfway through the day and you forget. Start taking pictures halfway through the day. It's not that big of a deal. If that bothers you because you wanna be able to get the entire day, just do it on the 13th. Pick up your camera on the 13th and take pictures on the 13th. Is it a big deal? No, it is not a big deal at all. In fact, there was one, um, I think it was in 2014. We no, it was in 2013, and we were moving from our house. And I had just, I had just gotten home from Europe on a trip to Europe, and I literally moved the next day. And it happened to be the 12th, and it was a crazy day. And I was busy, and I was working really hard. I had people at my house helping us 
movers, boxes. It was crazy. Guess what? I took one photo that day. My mind wasn't in it because I was so busy. And you know what I did? I didn't I didn't feel like I needed to take, you know, pictures on the 13th or anything like that. What I did is I just journaled and I just wrote about that day and I wrote 12 things about that day. So I just went photo free. Now, I've only done that one time in since 2009, so that's in 9 years I've only done that one time. But it's okay. It didn't stress me out. I didn't worry about it. I was just really grateful that I was able to document something. So if you forget one month, don't worry about it. You could, you could do that if you wanted. You could just do a journaling thing or you could just do it the next day. You could just choose another day that month and you can just go ahead and take pictures of your day. Honestly, it's really just about getting those pictures down and documenting your life. That's it. You can make up whatever rules you want. You can do more. You could do the 16th on the 16th. It just, just get it done. Just start taking pictures. Just start documenting your life. Anyway, if you guys have any questions, I would be happy to help you with those. I do have more information on my blog where you can see a ton more of my collages. You can see what I've done in years past and how I've put it together. So um, definitely look at that if you are interested. Thank you guys so much for watching. I really hope that you will join me in this project. I promise you, you will not regret it. All right, you guys, we will see you in the next video. Bye.